So this is a audio video that I wanted to make um, of the healing possibilities for human beings in the future, essentially based upon the the correct um, principles, based on the correct understanding of what I call a physics of psychology and based on the correct understanding of magnetism, the force of magnetism and its interplay in human beings. And um, what, I, what I have here is a drawing that is of a human being. And it's based upon the theories or the research of uh, Albert Roy Davis and Walter C. Rawls and their um, theory is set forth in um, magnetism and its effects on the living system that there are two um, separate magnetic polarities in the human being and this is basically I had always had this question how do you account for the left and right symmetry or asymmetry in the human being and until I had this this knowledge of or this correct understanding of magnetism it just didn't make sense to me nor did all the other kind of um, ideas or having to do with you know so-called subtle energies and things like this but I think once you have this basic um, insight into magnetism and its interplay with the physical body and that it's that these two uh, polarities or spins of magnetism are essentially shaping and forming both the left and the right sides of of the human body then you can kind of get a sense at least of however imprecise of the basic pattern that's actually magnetic pattern and polarities or spins that are underlying the form and structure and the pattern of the human being and as you as you look at it what you have here is you can see this both these two forces which would account for the two hemispheres of the brain now we speak of you know the two hemispheres of the brain but what we don't speak of generally is the two hemispheres of the physical body and when you look at the the human body what you see is throughout the whole body two hemispheres and so and you see essentially the left and the right side and if you look closely what what you'll find is as as you look at the natural rotation say of your right arm and your right leg and of your left arm and your left leg what you'll find is that their natural rotation follows the one the, the right side of your body the natural rotation of it the most natural is is a a clockwise spin and the left side of your body the arm and your left arm and your left leg the natural rotation is a counterclockwise spin and this is very important because it suggests that our whole human body our whole human structure or pattern is essentially based on these two spins essentially one that is I guess you could say horizontal and one that is vertical essential essentially and then and then you know these two um, spins if you the of polarity so you have kind of like a as you look at these these kind of uh, elliptical or spiral kind of circles you have one kind of pattern that goes horizontally and one that goes vertically I mean it's hard to um, describe it better at the moment but but you also have the left and the right kind of polarity going on and this 
this theory or this concept or this kind of model or description of the human being is very important because it, its relevance to human health is, and well-being is very important. Because if this kind of model is correct, it means that, that the idea, the theory of a physics of psychology or psychology as physics has some validity and some basis and that magnetism being the fundamental kind of force um, of the human being is kind of like the foundation or the starting point and that all the other structures within that all the other patterns or frequencies are kind of fundamentally shaped by magnetism and then you have the frequencies and then you have you know electrical currents and um, as well as plasmas, gases, solids, and liquids. And so what's, what's important about this kind of model? What, what does this mean? What, what is really the point of it? If, if we can understand the human being, the, the magnetic forces that shape the human body and that shape the other forces, the physics, and if this kind of model, this kind of rough model is correct of what's, as to what's, you know, a relatively, you know, accurate depiction of the way the forces are working in us, or at least a good starting point, then it, it makes the whole range of 